Hello everyone, this is my face because I had to record this video twice, so this is me just throwing a little hissy fit, but we're going to start fresh and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy black smoky eye. So to start off we're just going to prime our eyelids with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and this is just going to prevent our eyeshadows from creasing. And you always want to set your primer with a loose eyeshadow or setting powder or any sort of light colored eyeshadow. For our eyeshadow look today we're going to be using the Lorac Pro Mega 2 palette and I'm just taking those two light brown shades and I'm going to work this into my crease using a fluffy MAC 223 brush and I'm trying to keep this in real time to show you guys just how much blending you need to do when you're doing an eyeshadow look like this. When you're working with black it's really easy to make it look like you've been punched in the face so you want to work with browns all different shades of browns to blend out the black that way it looks more natural not natural but you guys know what I'm getting at so we're gonna work those two brown shades into the crease I really love the Lorac palettes they're very pigmented and very blendable now I'm gonna take the Maybelline gel liner and a pencil brush and I'm going to pack this on the lid you don't have to worry about being too precise with this but this is just going to act as a base to make our black eyeshadow super, super black. And I will say that the black in the Lorac palette is insanely pigmented. Like, I don't think I've seen a more pigmented black. So now we're just going to set that cream gel liner with that black eyeshadow from the Lorac palette. We're just going to set that to prevent it from sliding around. And now we're going to go in with a MAC 217 goat hair brush and we're going to take the darkest brown from the Lorac palette and we're going to work this right into the crease. So I'm holding the brush at an angle away from my face to just work that color deep into my socket. And so at first it's going to look sloppy and choppy and you're not going to like it but I promise you just keep blending, keep blending. And I tried to keep this at real time so you guys could see just how much blending you need to do. So like I said, we're just working that deep into the crease. And as you can see, you can still see the lightest brown colors at the top of my crease. And that's how we want it to be. We want it to go from black to dark brown to light brown. Now I'm going back with my fluffy brush and just adding a bit more of that lighter brown into the upper crease just so that we get that gradient effect. Now we're going to go in with a small blending brush, perfect for precision work in the crease. And we're going to barely tap into that black shadow and blend out the crease even more. So I would take barely any black when you're doing this step because you don't want to apply too much and not be able to remove it. It's better to start with just a little bit. And so as you can see, I'm just working that into the crease. So it's a MAC 221, a MAC 217, and a MAC 223. Those are the three blending brushes that I used for this eye look. And now I'm going to take a cleansing wipe. You can use any cleansing wipe that you have, but these are the ones from Neutrogena. And I'm just going to clean up under my eye because even though it may not look like it, we did get some fallout with that black shadow. And it's just nice to be able to clean up and make a really sharp wing. And now I'm just going to sing to the camera a bit and I'm going in with the Make It Forever Stick Foundation and this is in the shade Y23 I believe. And I'm just going to blend this into the face using my Flawless Beauty Sponge by Morphe Brushes. This is my absolute favorite makeup sponge I've ever used ever. It completely beats the Beauty Blender like I would pay just as much as a beauty blender but this one's only seven dollars it's amazing for concealer today I use the Urban Decay all-nighter concealer 
And again, I'm just working that in with my Morphe Beauty Sponge. Now to set the under eye, I'm taking the e.l.f. complexion brush and the Anastasia banana powder mixed with a bit of the MAC highlighting powder in the shade Emphasize. This is a pro shade, but I like to mix these two shades together and set the under eye. And quick dance break, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and now I'm going to set the entire face with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light. This is just going to add a tad bit more coverage and give ourselves a really nice base to blend our contour, bronzing, and all of that jazz. And for the eyebrows today, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Granite. And I'm also using the Anastasia brush to do that. And now I'm going to apply the Ardell Wispy Lashes. And as you can see, I set the lashes on the middle of my lid and then I attach the outer portion and the inner portion with my tweezers. For the lower lash line, I'm just going to take those two light brown shades and a pencil brush and work this under the eyes. And then I'm going to take a flat definer brush by MAC and I'm going to take that black shade and really work that into the very, very, very inner part of my lower lash line. Almost like an eyeliner. For mascara, I'm going to use this one by MAC, but you can use any mascara that you have. And I do want to say that for the eyeshadows, you can use any brown and black eyeshadows that you guys own. You don't have to use the Lorac palette. The purpose of this video was to just show you guys how to do a basic black smoky eye. I feel like everyone needs to know how to do this for nights out. It's, it just looks so good on everyone, all eye shapes. And now I'm going to cover up the lash band with the NYC liquid liner just to kind of hide some of that lash band since I wasn't wearing any eyeliner. And now I'm going to line my waterline with the a MAC eye pencil called Costa Riche. I believe there's a dupe in the L'Oreal brand, I believe. I don't know, you might look it up, but it's just a really rich reddish brown shade. Now I'm going to take my Kat Von D contour kit and I'm going to just roughly contour the face. I'm not being too precise on this, I just kind of slopping it on a bit. Now to highlight the brow bone, I'm going to use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight and just a flat shader brush by MAC. Again, you can use any brushes that you guys have or any gold champagne -y highlights. I thought the gold highlight really complemented the black in this look. I'm also going to pop this in my inner corners as well and really pack that on to make a statement. I'm going to use this same small little brush to highlight the nose. I highlight the very tip of the nose to make it look like it's got a cute little point and then the bridge of the nose to make it look slimmer. I'm sorry I'm kind of all over the place in this video. I'm now going to go in with blush and I'm using the Melba blush by MAC. I really love this shade. As you can see I've used it in so many of my videos. And I'm just going to pop that on with the IT Cosmetics blush brush. And then to highlight the face, I'm of course going to use my Gilded Honey by Laura Geller. If I can find it, clearly I'm looking for my brush. I'm using the Anastasia brush to highlight. I love that brush for highlighting. It really picks up a lot of product, but it also blends it out really, really well. And... I love this highlight. It looks amazing. It looks so good on all skin tones. As you can see, I apply like three layers. And now I'm going to show you guys like my favorite, favorite, favorite trick to do. I like to spray my face with any setting spray, but for this I'm using Fix Plus. So I'm going to spray my face. You can use any spreading setting spray that you have. But before the setting spray dries, I'm going to go back over with my highlight. And it really just makes it like foiled and it just like in your face. I absolutely love this trick. If you really want to make your highlight pop, this is the best trick in the book. For lips today, I'm going to use the Milani 
lip liner in 03 nude this is like such a good lip liner it's super creamy it lasts pretty long and so I'm just gonna line and fill in my lips with this and then over top I'm gonna apply the Marc Jacobs gloss and I'm not sure the shade but I will list it down below I love the Marc Jacobs glosses they're not too sticky and they're not too pigmented they just add that perfect sheen and they're super comfortable to wear to finish off I'm just gonna apply some mascara on the lower lashes and set the face with my Mac fix plus you can use any setting spray that you guys have I hope you all enjoyed this makeup look let me know if you try it on yourself tag me in any pictures and I would love to see them so I hope you all enjoyed this and don't forget to like this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already Bye!